cries from beds of clay shall rise to meet the Lord and King up yonder in the sky. Yeah, it won't be very long. No, it won't be very long till Jesus shall appear. That day is strong and near. Will you be ready then to meet the ransom throng? Get ready for that day, and it won't be very long. Amen. Amen. Uh, the, the next song. The next song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! No, I have to get I have to get all the bass together. I have to get all the bass uh, to, to, together for that. Anyway, you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Anyway, you bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Anyway, you bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Anyway. Me, Lord, Lord, I'm satisfied one more time anyway, anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied anyway. Lord, Lord, I'm satisfied. Well, I came to Jesus just as I was. I was weary and wounded. I was sad, oh Lord, but I found in Him a resting place. Anyway. Lord, Lord, I'm satisfied, Lord, anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied, anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied, anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied, anyway. Lord, Lord, I'm satisfied, yeah, amazing grace, how sweet the sound, church is saved, a wretch, wretch like me, oh Lord, well I was, was lost, but now I'm found, anyway. Lord, Lord, I'm satisfied, yeah, anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied, anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll, I'll be satisfied, anyway. You bless me, Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied, anyway. Lord, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Amen. Amen. We are, we are going to pray, open up, and I'm going to give you some information regards to national lectureship. And I'm so glad, Brother S Stephen Davis, here. I don't know what to do. Save the preacher. Save the preacher from singing. Save him from singing. All right. We, well, let, let's go to God. Let's go to God now in prayer. God, our Father. Father, who has been our help in ages past, oh God, who is our present help even right now. Father, we come, first of all, recognizing you, Father, as our creator, recognizing you, God, who rules and super rules your, your creation. 
We come, oh God, recognizing there's nowhere else we can turn to. So, oh God, we, we humbly, Father, ask that you will listen to our petitions. Father, we pray that you will be with this, your people. Help us, oh God, as we plan and strategize toward the great fellowship of the lectureship, that you will be with us, unify our efforts. Help us, oh God, ultimately that our main goal, Father, will be to glorify you. Father, we just pray that you will be with us and strengthen us. Give us, oh God, insight. Give us vision. Give us courage, oh God, to do those things that are needed and necessary so that, Father, everything would turn out Father, well. Father, guide us now and as we sing these songs to your glory and your honor. We always pray, Father, that you will continue to be with us, your children. Help us, O oh God, and that we will be the people, O oh God, you called us to be. Forgive us. Continue, Father, thank you for loving us. Not because of us, but even in spite of us, Father, you love us. And we're grateful, Father, most of all for Jesus, who makes everything possible. And in his name we do pray. Let us say amen. amen. I want to just say this. Individuals, gonna be, they'll be coming and going. We got individuals in the fellowship hall, and they'll be with us and um, going back and forth. Please, now as we go through the songs, look at the screens. Please look at the screen. When your committee is up, um, please go and take, um, take your pictures. I want to just say um, to us again that the National Lectureship of Churches of Christ is going to be September 24th through the 29th. Now, we're, we're asking the members, if you will, to go ahead at um, your vacation time to block that time out um, so that you want to be a part, you know, of this. We're looking forward to having a great time um, in the Lord. If you want to register, of course, those individuals who are here at Hilltop, you can just see myself or uh, any person on the registration committee or call the secretary, and they'll be more than happy to help you and assist you uh, in regards to registering, or you can go to www.coc, Church of Christ, NL, National Lectureship, 2022.com, um, and it'll pull up um, all of the lectureship information um, for you. Again, that is coc, NL, 2022.com. And you can pull that up, and you can download all the registration forms. If you're interested in being a vendor, um, that information is on there. If you have young people, we want them to be here. We have um, our youth minister, Brother Ken Oliver. They are working diligently putting together a program, you know, for our young people during the lectureship. And so we're excited about that. The lectureship is going to kick off on, um, again, September 24th, Lord's Will. And it's going to start that evening with a concert. There will be a a cappella concert at 6 o'clock. And we'll be featuring um, the groups, of course, um, from Orlando. The Revelation is going to be with us. And also, we are excited about, there's a young group. There's a young group coming to us out of New York. Um, they'll be with us, Lord's will. Um, they, uh, they were led for many, many years by Dr. R.C. Wells, um, his wife, uh, Sister Dorothy Wells. And we know um, that due to COVID, she passed last year. And, but the group is, remains together, and they want to come, and we're going to be doing, on that Saturday night, we'll be doing a special tribute um, to Sister Wells on that. And we are anticipating uh, many song groups um, that, that will be with us on Saturday night, and we're just looking forward to having um, a great time. Also, the Eastern Airs, um, uh, the group, I hope I called their name right, um, that there's a, a, another a group coming to us out of California, a group coming out of New York to sing for us on that Saturday as well as there'll be groups uh, from Florida and other places that's going to be with us. So we're going to want to kick that off on that Saturday. You don't want to miss that on that on that Saturday night. And then on that Sunday, September 24th, we're going to have a mass worship. We're going to be worshiping over um, at the Hyatt. There will be a skeleton crew that will be here at Hilltop but the majority of the congregation will be over um, at the Hyatt, where we'll be hosting, uh, we'll be having our, our, worship, our worship service. There'll be brothers who will be preaching um, to us. We'll start off in our Sunday school hour. Uh, we'll have a message during our Sunday school hour. 
and then doing our morning worship. Uh, we will have brothers who will be coming, presenting lessons um, to us on, uh, on Sunday. Now the theme, I jumped right over that, the theme is going to be from the book of Ephesians, the eternal purpose of God. And we're going to be showing that week that God had a plan to save man before the world began. And we're going to see that. And it has not altered. It has not altered. God had a plan. And that's what Paul talked about in the mind of God, that God had a plan. And so we're going to be looking at that all week long in regards to the unfolding of God's divine plan. What did God have in mind before the world began in regards to our salvation? So we'll be looking at that and we'll kick off Lord's Will on that Sunday. And again, we'll have our mass worship. Hilltop will be in charge of that. Um, in regards to that worship um, on, on Sunday, the 25th of September, over there at the Hyatt Regency in the ballroom. Um, and then after the worship service, um, of course, that the, you have an opportunity you know, the, to explore Orlando. And there is so much to see in Orlando. Orlando has more hotel rooms than any city in the world. Uh, not in Florida. I said in the world, no, no city in the world has more hotel rooms than Orlando, Florida. And of course, you know, you got uh, Orlando features the, you know, the Mickey Mouse, you got your Disney World, um, you know, you got Universal Studios, you got Epcot Center, um, you got uh, Animal Kingdom, you got uh, whatever you're looking for, you can find it. Matter of fact, stuff you're not looking for, you'll still find it over there um, in, in Orlando. So. And it's going to kick off, like I said, then we'll come back on that Sunday. We're going to come back, and before evening worship, there will be singing. There will be groups that will be singing um, to us. And then we're going to have our evening worship over there on that Sunday. And again, we have brothers from around the brotherhood who will be speaking at all of these events. And so you don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss this. And then, Lord's will, on that Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the schedule will be, we'll start off around... 8 or 9 o'clock every morning and there'll be workshops. There'll be workshops. Brothers will be dealing with various topics from the book of Ephesians whether it pertains to marriage or whether in regards to whether leadership or whether the case is that we'll be coming from the book of Ephesians. We have so many individuals will be coming to us. We're going to have sessions for those who are widowed. We have sessions for, sessions for you, those who are single. We have sessions for you married couples. We have uh, sessions for you. So we're trying to make this um, inclusive of everybody so that all who come, they will have something that they can benefit from in regards to this great fellowship. And that's going to be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Workshops will be in the morning, and then we'll all come together, and the ladies will have their session. The ladies, while we'll, the brothers will be in workshops Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the ladies will have their own you all will have your own program, and but you have a choice. Um, sisters, you could either be with those sisters, and, and they have various speakers from all over the place. Sister Powers, I know I saw that program. They could have sisters from all over the place, all over the United States, and they'll be coming in um, in regards to speaking, and we're looking forward um, um, to um, that particular program, what they'll be putting together. So please be mindful that sisters, while the brothers in workshops, the sisters you all have, um, you all session where you all will be. And then there is a ladies' luncheon that will be going on on Wednesday. On Wednesday, there's a ladies' luncheon, and so you'll have a special guest speaker who will fly in in regards to speaking to our sisters, and you'll be served a meal. And now, there is a cost for that. Go online if you're interested, or see Sister Pounds or Sister Sarah. They'll be more than happy um, to assist you. But again... The, the, how a day will look Monday through Wednesday. We have the workshops. Ladies have their session. We all come together at noontime. We're going to have a high noon session and where there will be individuals who will be speaking to us at the high noon session and then you will have plenty of time to explore Orlando. After the high noon session, we'll take a break and then we'll be back that afternoon. We'll come back that afternoon for our evening services and, um, and we'll be having special presentations um, that will be conducted during Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And so you don't want to miss anything. And then all of this it will be 
um, leading, climaxing to Thursday night, when we will have the annual Thomas, um, we will have the Thomas, we will have the, what's that man's name? We, we will have the memorial, yeah, they're, they're Milwaukee. John O. Williams, John O. Williams Memorial, Woo. John O. Williams Memorial Banquet um, that will be held on Thursday night. That will be held on Thursday night, and then that will bring a close to the to all of the activities. So, you, again, you don't want to miss this. Now, when you register, all those who register, um, the banquet is included. The banquet is included in your registration, so you don't have to pay additional fee for your for your banquet. All of that will be will be included, and so we're looking forward um, to having a great time. Uh, in the Lord, We're, uh, I'm, I'm just so excited about it. And the lectureship, the last lectureship that we had, can you can you imagine that was in 19 2019, 2019. And so, if the Lord spare our lives, and if this lectureship goes on without any more delays, if we have it in September, there'll be a space of about three and a half years that the national lectureship between lectureship. Now, the, the interesting thing about that, the National Lectureship started in 1945. And since 1945, for 75 years, the lectureship continued on. Now, you got to understand, since 1945, there was a lot of world events that transpired, but the lectureship was never canceled. It, it was never postponed. And then as soon as we get it, <laughs> three and a half year delay. But that's okay. That, 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 that is okay. We just ask you all, we appreciate the support that you all have provided and all of these various committees. Um, and, and the lectureship cannot succeed without these committees. We, we got to have people who are working behind the scenes, um, putting things together so that this beautiful collage of fellowship, and that's what we're working on, trying to get all of the committees together, and those individuals, if you're interested in the lectureship, if you want to work uh, with the lectureship, we meet um, every month. We meet via Zoom. We meet via Zoom every, every month we're meeting. And in that meeting, there is information that we, we provide to keep you updated as to what's going on with the lectureship, if you have any questions, you can ask your questions um, during that Zoom meeting, and we provide that. And in order to do this, we are so thankful to the congregations around us who are assisting us. We have help, uh, thank God, from the Ocala congregation and Brother Charles Larry. We are grateful to them and their dedication. We have Brother Hogan out of Skyview. We are thankful to God for them. Perry Johnson. We are so grateful for him. My brother-in-law out of Miami, we're grateful for them. And then also, especially, we're grateful for Brother Wesley Leonard and the congregation there at Southside uh, in regards to all of the supportive help that they um, are doing and what they're willing to do in regards to helping us um, in regards to putting on um, this lectureship. So, so we are thankful. We are, we are so grateful um, to God for um, this beautiful fellowship. And we pray, God, that prayerfully, even through these efforts, it will bring the congregations closer together. Because I just believe if ever there's a time that we need to be together and stand together as the people of God, then that time, that time is right now. And so again, we, we appreciate you um, for being here today. We appreciate so much you taking the time um, in regards to doing this. And we will, we will go and continue now. We're going to... We'll, Oh, there he is. I was like, I lost my brother. All right. He, and, and, and Brother David will actually come lead us in the congregational song. And then after that, if you don't mind, Doc, if you don't mind, sir, lead us in prayer. We ask uh, Elder McMillan if he'll come and lead us in prayer. And as we pray for the lectureship, preparing ourselves um, for this great event. We're bringing saints together from across our brotherhood for this great um, evangelistic, edifying um, effort and also this great this great, great fellowship. God bless.
before your holy throne at this time, O oh Father. So thankful. You have blessed us, O oh Father, with this privilege of prayer. We might come into your presence, O oh Father, and give you thanks and edify and lift up your name and praise you in all the ways that we can because, O oh Father, you are deserving of our praise. Yes. We thank you, Father, for this day of worship. Yes. We thank you, Father, for this day of fellowship. Yes. We thank you, Father, for the preached word that has encouraged our souls yes. And, yes. And, 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 and enriched our faith, O oh Father, and, and made us aware of how blessed we are to be in the way yes. of Christ. Thank you, Father, for your manservant, Minister Carl Mitchell, yes. and the great preaching that he has done for us throughout this entire week. Yes. And we pray, oh God, your blessings upon him as he now, Father, will be soon returning to his homeland and to his personal ministry there in Kingston, Jamaica. Yes. Continue to bless his efforts, oh Father, and may the preached word continue, oh Father, to have uh, reap great benefits in the hearts and minds of men who hear it, O oh Father, and accept it and obey it. And now, Father, we come at this hour praying on behalf of the National Lectureship. We're praying, O oh Father, first of all, we thank you that you have allowed us to get through this pandemic and where we can now, O oh Father, see that the uh, end is almost here and we'll be able to carry out this great lectureship in 2022. We're so thankful, Father, for the perseverance of the leaders of this uh, uh, great effort. We thank you, Father, for uh, the churches of Christ throughout this region yes. who have come together to support this great effort. Yes. And we're praying, oh God, that all the congregations of the churches of Christ who are involved might work together tirelessly. We might join our hands together in a loving fashion always willing, O oh Father, to make sacrifices and do those things that are pleasing in your sight, that you, O oh Father, might receive all the glory and all the honor. We pray, O oh God, that we might never do anything for personal attention or aggrandizement, O oh Father, but that everything that we do might be to lift up the precious name of Jesus yes. and his church and his kingdom. Yes. We're thanking you, Father, for the opportunity that all of us have to work together, to be a part of this great effort. Ultimately, oh, Father, that Central Florida and the entire world who listens in might hear the proclaimed word of Christ and, Father, know and understand what his will is for their eternal salvation. Yes. We're praying, oh God, for every committee, for every committee member. We're praying, oh God, for every effort that is going forth to make this lectureship all that it can possibly be. And we're praying, oh God, that this lectureship, although we've had great lectureships in the past, we're praying, oh God, that this lectureship might be the greatest lectureship that the churches of Christ have ever known. Not that we might receive any glory, but that all the glory might go to you, O oh Father, and that your church and your kingdom might be lifted up and men and women all over Central Florida might want to know more about this kingdom, this church of Christ, this uh, congregation of believers, and want to become a part of this great family. Amen. We pray, oh God, that you would bless all the ministers who are involved, yes. bless all the congregations that are involved, yes. bless every member who has a part to play in this great lectureship, yes. oh Father. Let us continue to work together. Let us continue, oh Father, to roll up our sleeves and ask what must, what can I do to make the lectureship all that it can possibly be and make it the very best lectureship that it can be? Bless us, O oh Father, and keep us in your care. We pray, O oh God, that all these things be done in a manner that's pleasing and acceptable in your holy sight. Thank you, O oh Father, for your son Jesus, who went to the cross on Calvary for all of our sins. It's in his name the crucified and resurrected Savior, in his name we do pray. And the church said, amen. amen. We appreciate that prayer so much. We do appreciate um, that. The taking pictures, the hospitality, greeters, their committee. Well, they ready for me to take a picture. They ready for me to take a, ooh, I was gonna try to get a verse in of heavens on the other side. 
Do we, we have enough, we got enough bass in here? We got, we got, we got, we got, we got bass in here? All, all right, let's see if we can do this. Come on, come on, bass. Heaven's on the other side, oh, heaven's on the other side, oh, heaven's on the other side, oh, heaven's on the other side. I will make it, I will make it, heaven's on the other side. The side is the Sopranos and Ben's on the other side of him. Ben's on the other side of him. Ben's on the other side of him. Ben's on the other side. I will make it. I will make it. Ben's on the other side. Out toes. Ben's on the other the side of him, been told the other side of him, been told the other side of him, been told the other side. I will make it, I will make it, and been told the other side. Tenors, been told the other side of him, been told the other. The side of heaven, the side of heaven, the side of
It's going around. He has so many flowers. Excuse me if I sound like a cop, but I listen to him. I'm It's going to rain. Which 
sure and we're trying to wind down as soon as they finish up all the pictures you know then we will have our final prayer we want to make sure before we, we get out of here we need to make sure we get a picture of the, the hilltop elders and make sure we get a picture of you all all the preachers we want the preachers to take a picture together um as well um before um before we get out of here okay appreciate it but they and you did a great job with um i, was, what, I forgot all about that sorry and it's going around that, that, that was great that, that was really really good my brother
mention this as well to the those who are here and I know they are listening over there in the fellowship hall please be mindful again every month we meet every month you need to be mindful that please be mindful that we have another meeting um, that is set for the next Thursday um, that's this coming Thursday this, Thursday this coming Thursday we have a meeting this coming Thursday night at 7 o'clock and we've been meeting now for some time in, in preparation for this lectureship. If you want to know what's going on with the lectureship, um, please make sure you're part of that. If you have any questions, you can either ask me or be a part of that Zoom, that Zoom meeting that we're going to have. And also, you need to um, keep up with what's going on so you can be aware of what each committee is doing and also when we'll be planning on going back over um, to the higher Regency in regards to a walkthrough so we have a, a better um, understanding now as to how the layout of the hotel is, where everybody's going to be situated, so we're working towards that um, as well. So please um, keep up with us by attending the Zoom meeting. It's usually every second Thursday of the month, uh, but because of homecoming fell on the second Thursday, we moved it back to next this coming Thursday um, at 7 o'clock. So we look forward um, to having you be a part of that, and again, all those individuals on these committees, we thank God for you. And I forgot to mention, I was talking about congregations helping us. I forgot to mention Xerxes Snell and the congregation there in the Winter Gardens. And also Brother Sykes in Avon Park. And, and that's my, uh, that's charged that to my head, not my heart. But we do appreciate all these congregations um, who are assisting us, who are helping us in regards to putting together um, this lectureship. For whatever part they're playing, we just thank God. We thank God for them. Amen. All right, at this time, we're going to ask. Uh, Brother Davis, I hope you're not working too hard, my brother. Ask Brother Davis to go ahead and lead us in another, uh, another congregational hymn. And then those who need to take pictures now, please make sure don't leave until those pictures are taken care of. And we're going to ask, if you don't mind, Brother Davis, if you don't mind, sir, do our dismissal prayer in regards to our final prayer for the lectureship, that the Lord will help us and grant us favor as we're putting together um, this event. So we'll ask Brother Davis um, to lead us in one more, one more hymn. And then we ask Elder Davis if he'll come and lead us in our final prayer. The Lord our rock, in him we have a shelter in the time of Yeah, 
Don't forget to take pictures on me. Hilltop Church of Christ, 2101 Martin Luther King Boulevard, Northeast, right here in Winter Haven. Your place of refuge, your safe haven, refuge from neglect. Here we love God's creation. Refuge from disappointment. Here we encourage God's creation. Refuge from hunger. Here we feed God's creation. Refuge from loneliness. Here we are family. Refuge from the evil. Here we teach biblical salvation. Hilltop, the congregation of the one church, the body of Christ, where we worship God, putting Him first in all things. We welcome you to come see for yourself. Come enjoy the peace and the love that God has blessed us with. Let us share that peace and that love with you. See you next Lord's Day. Until then, know the hilltop is here for you.